Hello everyone, I am Somitra Kumar. Today I have a new video for you. In this video, we'll talk about the secondary activities. In this video lesson, these topics will be covered. Secondary activities concept, manufacturing types that are household, small scale, large scale, agro-based and mineral-based industries, people engaged in secondary activities, some examples from selected countries. Secondary activities are the activities that add value to natural resources by transforming raw materials into valuable products. Secondary activities therefore are concerned with manufacturing, processing and construction infrastructure industries. As you all know that from a small needle to big ships and all heavy machines come from manufacturing industries. Manufacturing refers to processing of raw materials to convert them into finished goods with the help of machines or by hand. Now, the manufacturing industries. Manufacturing and industry. Both the terms are taken together because manufacturing takes place in the factories or industries. That's why it is called as manufacturing industries. But there are some other secondary activities that are not performed in the factories or industries but often referred as industries like film industry, entertainment industry, tourism industry are not associated with factories but referred as industries. Now the types of manufacturing industries, household or cottage based industries, small scale industries and the large scale industries. Household industries. It is the smallest manufacturing unit. The artisans use local raw materials and simple tools to produce everyday goods in their homes with the help of their family members or part-time labor. The produce is consumed or sold locally or used for barter system. For example, clay pot, bamboo craft, handmade artifacts, etc. In this picture, you can see the products of cottage-based or household industries to be sold in the market. Now, the small-scale manufacturing. This type of manufacturing uses local raw materials, simple power-driven machines and semi-skilled labor. It provides employment and raises local purchasing power. Developing countries like India, China, Indonesia and Brazil etc. have developed labor-intensive small-scale manufacturing units in order to provide employment to their population. Now, the large-scale manufacturing industries. They involve large market, large capital investment, variety of enormous labor, different kind of raw materials and assembly line mass production. It is important to know that such a kind of manufacturing developed with industrial revolution. Large scale manufacturing is not older than 200 years. Initially large scale manufacturing was confined to USA, UK, Western Europe but now it is diffused across the world. Another important thing is that large-scale manufacturing involves large and heavy machines. That means use of large and heavy machines. Presently, world's large-scale industrial reason can be grouped under two categories. Traditional large-scale industrial reasons that are concentrated in more developed countries. High-tech industrial reasons that are found in less developed countries. Here it is also important that industries can be classified on the basis of raw materials or inputs also. 
we have to study only two examples of such classification first one the agro based industries and the second one the mineral based industries agro based industries it involves processing of raw materials from agricultural fields and farms into finished goods sugar pickles jam fruit juice tea coffee edible oil rubber cotton jute and silk textile industries are some of the examples of it agro processing also involves food processing that includes canning producing cream fruit processing and confectionery etc mineral based industries these industries use minerals as a raw material they can be classified into metallic minerals best industries and non metallic minerals best industries metallic mineral best industries can be further subdivided into ferrous mineral best industries and non ferrous mineral best industries iron and steel industry aluminium industry copper industry are some of the examples of metallic minerals best industries while cement industry is an example of non metallic mineral best industry industries do not set up anywhere but there is a strong need of some of the important locational factors here are some of the important locational factors access to market access to raw material access to labor supply access to source of energy access to transportation and communication skills government policies and link to industries traditional large scale industrial reasons characteristics high proportion of employment in manufacturing industry high density housing often of interior type and poor services unattractive environment for example pollution waste heaps and so on problems of unemployment emigration and derelict land areas caused by closure of factories because of a worldwide fall in demand these industrial reasons are called as smoke stacks of the world the ruhr coal field germany this has been one of the major industrial reasons of europe for a long time coal and iron and steel formed the basis of the economy ruhr region was once responsible for 80% of steel production in germany now the problems of ruhr region demand for coal was declined steel industry started shrinking iron ore was exhausted but a steel industry sustained using imported iron ore problems of industrial waste and pollution new ruhr landscape the future prosperity of the ruhr is based less on products of coal and steel and more on the new industries like the huge opel car assembly plant new chemical plants universities and out of town shopping centers these all have appeared as new rural landscape high tech industries high technology or simply high tech is the latest generation of manufacturing activities it is an application of intensive research and development it manufactures products of an advanced scientific and engineering character professionals or white collar workers make up a large share of the total workforce some examples of high tech industries robotics on the assembly line computer aided design or cad and manufacturing electronic controls of smelting and refining processes and the new chemical and pharmaceutical products are examples of the high tech industry the technopolis high tech industries which are reasonably concentrated self sustained and highly specialized are called technopolis the silicon valley near san francisco and silicon forest near seattle are examples of technopolis 
In India, Bangalore is an example of technopolis. So guys, this is the conclusion of this video lesson. Keep watching, keep up learning and ask questions. Thank you everyone. Thank you very much.